previously on The Real Housewives of Dallas. How are you? Good, how are you? I'm so excited. I have opened a laser center in our office, lasering anything you could pretty much imagine lasering. Okay, your hoo-ha is gonna be awesome. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to look at me. Maybe you want to look at Allison. <laughs> I have to give someone a chance to help me. So I finally hired a nanny. I'm going to get the lawyer to draw up the papers. But then so the company will be 100% mine or 75%? No, you're going to have 100%. That means a lot that she would do that for me. I need to figure out whenever you're gone if the boys and I should come see you. Travis is leaving in a few months to go to Harvard Business School. I don't know. I just get really anxious whenever I'm by myself. It's going to be chaos. Do you think I'm jealous of Deanta? I feel like there is some jealousy there. How would you feel if I was like questioning, was this baby just to save your marriage? Leanne! If I hear one more time that we lead separate lives. I know, because it, you guys do you things see? separately. It's because you're not getting married. This isn't my first rodeo, so I'm not taking your bull. Investing in drama is not in my budget. When life gets messy, just build a bigger closet. Running a family business is a job for one tough mother. I've got heels that are higher than your standards. You don't mess with Texas, and you don't mess with me. Thank you. Lead the way, ma'am. I will lead the way, my pirate. <laughs> I really want the margarita. The jalapeno cucumber? It is going to yeah. be spicy. Is that okay? Yes. Awesome. I'll do the cucumber one. Be right back. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, so you're okay if Cathedral of Hope ends up being our church yeah. to get married in? Okay. And I also need... Oh, Any questions over the menu at the moment? Um, ooh, I think I want to do the seared tuna salad. Good choice. And for you, good sir? Can I get a wedge salad? Of course. I'll put those in for you. Thanks. Thank you. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Mmm. I got a kick to it. Even though Brandy and Deandra don't want to believe this wedding is actually happening, honey, we are full steam ahead. Jump on the train or stand in front of it. Your choice. Okay, is there anything particular that you would like to see in a wedding gown for me? I don't know. I Cleavage? Know. I don't leg? No underwear? Richard! I don't know. Okay, so you don't. Okay, got it. If I told Rich Emberlin I was walking down the aisle in a pair of heels and some earrings, but naked, he'd be like, tomorrow, I'll clear my calendar. Oh, look how good Either that looks. Either of you like peppers? If you need anything, Thanks. just let me know. Thank you. Anyway, I am going dress shopping, and I invited Steph to come, and she was like, I would love to go. Oh, I'm oh, going to get dresses in two weeks. I would There's... love for you to come, Stephanie. I would love to help you with anything. I would like to invite Deandra, but that's not going to happen. Why not? Hi, Amelia over here so I can see with my notes. I know why you sit in that chair. It looks straight you, at you. And you can escape. Yeah. <laughs> Without falling over whenever your mother right. gets to for you, just escape out the door. OK, what's on your mind today? So after yesterday's staff meeting, I was kind of confused about some things. I'm nervous about the green miracle and the deadlines and getting that done. And mm -hmm. I don't want to run out. I understand we're only a few days late on the phytosterol, but I don't want that to become weeks and weeks and weeks. So I'm asking you for advice. Yesterday in that meeting, you should have said, I'm going to take this over. Because I can tell you that you are not going to have that product ready, just like last year. We're missing an ingredient. What ingredient are you missing? The L22. The main ingredient you're missing? Yes. Yeah. Now that I'm turning this over to Deandra, I think she needs to work a little bit more on business. And you've got to know when to order. You've got to know about supplies. You've got to know all these different things. In all the years that I had this company, never did we run out of a product. That was a no-no. Mm -hmm. People knew that their job was on the line if they ran out. Listen to Mama D. You need to take the bull by the horns. OK. Because if you don't, Deandra, you're going to get in trouble. I'm still walking on thin ice because we do not have a signed agreement yet. My mother may say, oh, you know what? I don't think I can step away, or I don't think Deandra can handle this. I don't want her to pull the rug out from under me again. So I'm like a cat on a hot tin roof right now. 
Well, you're still going to be here and help me with these I will help questions you when and you the need labs me. and everything. I mean, if you ever got into a big, big pickle and you said, Mom, can you call the president of this company or this, I would do that for you. I think it's been difficult for Deandra because she's always felt like she's in competition with me. She thinks, I've got to show my mother that I can be head of a big corporation, and I think she'll either make it big or she'll break it. Next week, we're doing this cooking lesson, and Leanne can't cook. <laughs> At New Year's Eve, I gave her a something to do and the spinach tasted like salt lick. She didn't put any salt in it, she said, and it tasted like the whole thing if the Morton salt was dropped inside of it. I love to cook with Leanne. It's very important to me that she's there because I've cooked with her in the kitchen before. She shouldn't have had to do anything, but that's what makes her funny. I just don't know if she's gonna wanna come. My mom has been talking about doing this cooking class with Cameron and Leanne for a very long time. So even though we're not getting along right now, I would really like for her to come and possibly mend fences. Leanne is highly irritated with me right now, and we got into a big fight. You did? I think one of the things that came up between Deandra and I was that what? she feels like because I don't drag you to all these events, that that's her justification for saying that we live separate lives. What the hell does that mean? Is this where I go to Columbia and visit with my other wife and four kids? Yeah, right. Why are you looking for something negative in my relationship when you're my best friend and you want to be a part of the wedding? Here's the problem. I'm not sharing information with Deandra right now. And the reason is because she's Brandy's drinking buddy. If Brandy and Deandra sit around drinking, bitching about me, I'm obviously not her best friend. If she wouldn't get drunk and telling Brandy everything, then maybe I would trust her. 